<sighs> Guys, I think it's about time that I've admitted to my wrongdoings. To what I've gotten wrong in a situation, how I've perpetuated a false narrative, and how my video was just in poor taste, bad faith, and due to that, I will be actually taking the video- Remember kids, do your research! Alright ladies and gentlemen, this uh, this video is going to be very, and I mean very unprofessional, and it's probably going to come out a little while after this video is actually being recorded. So mind you, if it's a bit weird and clunky and junky and unorganized basically just when I'm talking, that's because I'm kind of just recording this off a whim, because I'm actually pretty frustrated right now, because people are trying to portray my Sean Chiplock video as bad faith because I didn't respond to Sean's most recent document. And to that I have to say, boo honky, I don't care. I don't really care, honestly, because if I were to actually respond to that document in that video, which I actually saw the document before I was done editing my video, guys, so I'm gonna put that out there right now. It's not as if I was actually just done the video before Jean's document was out. I was editing the video, and I said, fuck that, I'm not gonna do that right now, I'll look into that later. And prior to my video coming out, so when the video was actually exporting and I really had nothing to do, I looked into this document, and oh boy, is it a doozy. Because people are trying to tell me that Sean is completely innocent, and my video is totally in bad faith because I'm trying to stir the pot, and it's essentially just poison the well on the allegations and try and get people confused, but that's not really what I'm doing. And to claim that is not only absurd, but genuinely just a false accusation. I want to preface this video by saying I think the allegations regarding Sean are false. Like, if you want my personal non-video essay opinion, they are false. Like, I don't think Sean is a groomer, I just think he's kind of a weirdo and a degenerate. But with that being said, let's get into this, shall we? So essentially, the biggest part of this document is mostly the fact that there are screenshots of Casper on different accounts lying about their age. And this is very incriminating because, well, the entire point was Casper was 15 at this time, Sean shouldn't have been interacting with them. And while I agree in the sense that, well, Casper never told them their age and Casper never had their age listed, to claim that they lied about their age and Sean would have gone into the conversation knowing that they lied about their age is just so insanely disingenuous and absurd, it's unbelievable. And the people that are saying that Sean, you know, disproved it in this document and it did all this, like, great research and handiwork, which, by the way, took him 11 years to do, in the comment section of my video are just rambling on about how Sean is completely innocent of any actions, which by the way, he still admits the conversation happening, so he's not innocent of being a degenerate, but moving on. In this document, there are really only three incriminating screenshots of Casper lying about their age, and I'm gonna show you why they are extremely disingenuous on Sean's part. These three screenshots being one of their disorder account, two of their George account, and three of their Kobu account. Firstly, Sean claims that this Pyro account is connected to the Disorder account, which it is, and then the Disorder account is connected to the very same Disorder account, which it is, which this Disorder account claims they are 19, is connected to this DeviantArt account called George, which claims that they are 18, and says that you can call them Ed or Kobu, and then it connects to this Kobu account, which claims they are 20. Firstly, before I even get into disproving these screenshots, or moreover, debunking them, I want to state that if Sean had all this information, basically had all this, you know, prior to their conversation with Casper, and sought this out prior to their conversation with Casper, why did he just respond like this in the first place for the past 11 years that to, that to me makes a little 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 to no sense but even in that sense, I significantly doubt that he sought this out prior to his sexual conversation, and I just genuinely believe he had the sexual conversation on a whim. Like, I genuinely don't believe that it was anything malicious, and that's my point. I don't think that it was malicious. I think Sean could have just responded by saying, well, I didn't know their age, and it was just a bad conversation. It shouldn't happen. I'm sorry, but I'm definitely not a groomer. Like, that could have been the ideal response, but trying to disprove it and discredit Casper by saying they lied about their age is so disingenuous, and you'll see why. All right, so... Sorry, this is, I'm on OBS now, so it's going to be very, very wonky, very disinteresting, but I promise you just bear with me here because I'm going to make a pretty big point, overarching point here. But here, let's just say, here are links to screenshots that verify Casper was indeed on platforms that were 18 plus, including their own omission, as well as advice, <laughs> excuse me, as well as evidence that accounts associated with them either did not listen age or listen an age that would suggest they were 18 year older. At the time we spoke to each other, that's very important because he's accusing them of lying about their age at the time they spoke to each other, okay? Which also, you know, is it's is an accusation in itself that they were lying about their age, so Sean made it seem like, you know, it made it seem like to Sean that they were 18 years old due to these, you know, contradicting account ages, whatever, right? I just want to really drill that into your brain because that's what that says. So this Pyro account is, account, or is attached to this disorder account. 
this disorder account, and this disorder account. You may think these are two different accounts because kind of the way that Sean puts it with the different colors of circling, this and this. Um, but this is just a 2015 archive of their account. This is another archive of the same account. This is not a different account. This is the same exact account. Look right here. You have furaffinity.net slash user slash disorder. furaffinity.net slash user slash disorder. All right, same. Oh, fuck. Same thing. Same thing. Literal same thing. Same thing right here. These are the same, same accounts, okay? So, these are the same accounts. But what is the purpose of this screenshot? This pur The purpose of this screenshot, if you look at the two circles, is to show that this account, this DeviantArt account named George, that's the entire point of the screenshot. They don't point out that Disorder says they are 19. Casper says they are 19 in this image. Casper says they are 19 years old. Why don't you circle that, Sean? That's pretty damning evidence. Well, the reason that he doesn't circle that is because this is an archive from 2017. And if he were to circle that and people were to go check the archive, you know, Casper's actually 19 in 2017. That's kind of how the chronological timeline works here. Casper was actually 19 in 2017. But he doesn't want to show the date because that wouldn't work up with the story, and I'll show you why. So this DNR account, George, lies and says they are 18 years old. And they also say you can call me Ed or Kobu, which the Kobu links to this account being named Ed and saying they are 20 years old. So let's go back to the beginning here. So firstly, this account, this archive was from 2017. This archive was from 2015. Now something interesting I want to point out is that obviously you have the contact information. These are the same account. That's kind of the point that Sean's trying to prove is that this account, this DeviantArt account must have been linked to the Disorder account. But if you go back to this 2015, um, this 2015 archive of the Disorder account and you go down to artist information because underneath artist information is where the contact information is and where the DeviantArt is. But we're going to go to artist information here, but where's the contact information? I'm not really, I'm not seeing any contact information. Oh, but I'm seeing contact information here two years later. And this is the oldest archive of their account. So, Sean, how did you get this DeviantArt, let's say at the time, if you were to make the argument that Sean would have thought they were 18 based off this DeviantArt account prior to their conversation, how did you get this if they didn't have their DeviantArt linked until at least past 2015? How'd you get this? Because your conversation was in 2013. How did you get this DeviantArt back in 2013? And although this DeviantArt and the archive is from 2013, how did you get it if they didn't link it on their fur affinity? Now, obviously, there's the, the, uh, the situation that, you know, Casper sent their DeviantArt to them, but at the moment, there's no evidence of this, and Sean doesn't even perpetuate this as a narrative. That So he's assuming... He's, made, he's at least trying to get you to assume that he got their age from this DeviantArt account from this Disorder account. That's what he's trying to get you to to look into. That's what he's trying to get you to think. But if this DeviantArt account, or excuse me, this For Affinity account is from 2017, how did you get it in 2013 even though the oldest known archive of their account doesn't have the DeviantArt linked? How would you get this information in 2013? And finally, this one is just literally like counterintuitive even putting this in here. This final one with the Kobu account, if you go to the fucking archive and even in Sean's very own, sorry I went to my script there, even in Sean's very own screenshot, it was said it was registered since September 9th, 2013. And you go here, September 9th, 2013. And if you go here, first off, my communication with Pomni started back in August, August, sorry. And if you go to Sean's own document, you scroll up, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. According to the posted logs, we, we met online in August 28, 2013. So how does this, how is this account relevant at all if it was created after your guys' interaction, self-admittedly, mind you? So I want to conclude by saying, like, this is the only piece of evidence, this George account right here, this George account is the only piece of evidence. And as to how Sean could have gotten that information, I have no clue. Because the fact that Sean left out that this archive was from 2015 up in this top right corner, because he could have put he could have put this 20 or 2017 thing right in the top right corner, just like he did for this screenshot. Instead, he decides to, you know, omit this detail because it wouldn't fit his narrative that he got this DeviantArt account from this from this account back in 2013 and would have thought that they were 18 years old. Mind you guys, this is what he says himself he says he says here listed an age that would suggest they were 18 or older at the time we spoke to each other making it unreasonable to assume that they would be under the age of 18 sean this screenshot's from 2017 <laughs> this was made after your guys's interaction how how did anyone take this at face value with like literally all you have to do is just paste these links into fucking into fucking archive.org that's all you have to do to find out that all of this is just a perpetuative narrative from Sean because he omits details like the date and time of these screenshots. This is so disingenuous, it's crazy. So essentially, if I'm going to summarize 
Sean has not really proved anything. Okay, this circling is a very weird, actually effective method of trying to get people to focus on only one thing and not really question anything. People really only look at the ages and see that the accounts actually link up with each other, but they don't think about the chronological time because sometimes he'll put in the timestamp, but not actually put it in in other screenshots. So the most interesting part about the situation is the fact that Sean is trying to disprove like more than he really needs to. He's being a bit overzealous and trying to disprove these allegations when the allegations have already been disproven. So at this point, he's just trying to maliciously discredit the accuser. None of these you could have actually gotten unless there's some context I'm missing from your guys' conversation. So indefinite, the screenshot when they say they are 19 on the Fur Affinity account, which links to the DeviantArt account, is unequivocally false and does not play into your narrative at all. And the Kobu account was made after your guys' interaction. You literally show that in your screenshot. So the only thing of actual innate value is the DeviantArt account. But if the DeviantArt account was linked to that actual disorder account only in 2017, years after your guys' interaction, then how exactly did you get that DeviantArt account? Unless they gave you their DeviantArt on the Fur Affinity chat, prior to the sexual conversation, which you would need evidence to provide for, there is a very low likelihood that you actually thought that they were 18 with solidifiable proof. And this is why I think Sean is extremely disingenuous, because he could have responded to this 11 years ago, right? But it's because he didn't know this information prior to their conversation that he didn't respond like this. People are trying to paint me as bad faith when it's such a double standard because the guy that you are playing into is bad faith. I mean, I think Sean's innocent, but this overplaying of the allegations and continuous, and I mean continuous blunders in his responses, just proves my video's point all the much better, that everyone in the situation has poor judgment. And this IOX creator that goes on to talk about this document and glaze the shit out of it for no apparent reason without doing any external research is hilarious. This dude IOX goes on this video, and to be fair, alright, I don't think he did his research, and that's not even a fault on him because these screenshots are very misleading, okay, it's a very misleading narrative that Sean is trying to push. And and I wouldn't even be surprised if Sean himself didn't even know if he was pushing a misleading narrative, but he is. So in conclusion, these screenshots really don't mean anything unless there's some context missing from their conversations over for Affinity and Skype. Unless they actually sent you their deviant art. There's no way that you got this DeviantArt and concluded that it was them because there is no identifying information that this is actually Casper. It doesn't say, oh, this is Casper on this George account. If anything, it does the exact opposite because they play on the narrative that they are named Ed or Kobu. So Sean, I don't know if he's directly left out the information in the timestamps of these archive.org, you know, like archives, but in a certain way, I feel like he has because, you know, he did it for a lot of the other screenshots, but just not specifically the ones that don't paint his narrative in a good light. Okay, and there's some other stuff where he talks about the fact that he thought it was Ash in his Reddit responses because he was having 18 plus conversations on like Floriverse chats, but even then that just shows you didn't handle the allegations with care. Like by the way, you claim how people are trying to take down your career that you've worked so hard for, maybe do some more due diligence with responding to allegations to even just look at the journal. So far in this video, I have perpetuated as if I'm trying to prove Sean guilty of something, but I'm not. I'm just trying to prove that this document means nothing and why am I getting attacked on my character for a video that I made for a video that basically just covers the allegations and doesn't give a lot of actual personal input as bad faith or in bad taste is ridiculous. In this situation, I'm not gonna lie, has triggered me so badly because people, you just need to do your goddamn research. Okay, in conclusion, I don't think Sean is guilty of anything except for lying and being a degenerate. And even if he didn't even mean to paint this narrative in this way, like, I just don't understand. And I just don't understand. All the Twitter replies are positive. I genuinely can't believe no one has done this before me. This is this is this document has been out for 18 days as of recording. Nobody has decided to look into the archive.org screenshots. Nobody has. Not a single individual has decided to look into this. What, because the accusers were wrong that one time or those few times the accusers were wrong? That means we're gonna let somebody get by with just openly lying on the internet or openly misconstruing a point, openly misconstruing screenshots to just try and make themselves look better and discredit accusers. Again, I don't think Sean is is really guilty of anything. But the fact that he's tried to discredit the accusers in this situation when he literally could have just responded to it in the easiest way by saying, oh yeah, well, I did have that conversation, but they never told me their age. I never knew their age. Their age wasn't listed anywhere I could find. It was more a matter of irresponsibility, but not a matter of grooming, not a matter of anything malicious. Then it would have all been okay. It would have all blown over. But now he's tried to lie about it. And I think the weirdest part about that is that Casper doesn't have the cojones to come out and disprove this, which, you know, does actually make me question a little bit whether I'm right. Because 
because I feel like it'd be really easy to disprove and I feel like no one's looking into it and no one's disproving it which makes me really mad but also makes me seem like I'm a psychopath so if I'm wrong then so be it and I'll retract this video I'll retract this statement but as for the time being these screenshots are pretty disingenuous they paint a pretty bad narrative and for people saying that this has been totally disproven as if Sean didn't actually admit to that conversation happening is just ridiculous all right well I've been salty uh trying to trying to clear my name trying to clear my name out of the mud guys trying to really trying to really clear my name out of the mud here okay this has been the, probably my most unorganized video on my entire fucking channel um all right thank you for watching goodbye